Hello everybody, this is Jared and here we are with How To Real Estate. Uh, today I'm really excited because I'm going to show everyone something that a lot of people really, really want to know. Um, it's really hard, it's, sometimes it's hard to find off-market deals. So the best way to find off-market deals is to talk to people that are, uh, that are in need, that have a, some sort of urgency, right? So today I'm going to show you how to find the meth list that this, the county has so you can go work that list and talk to people that the houses have been condemned because it's been tested positive for meth. Okay, so if you guys uh, like this like this type of stuff, uh, how, these, all these how-tos, please like and su subscribe. Let me know if you like it. Put in comments if you want to hear what other lists you want to you want to know about. I can show you more than happy to. Uh, this is what, I'm, what this channel is all about. So, if you want to find out all the the meth the meth properties in your in your neighborhood. That's been contaminated. That's been uh, that has been uh, you know obviously uh, condemned. Uh, this is how you do it. So health department, Salt Lake City. So I'm going to use Salt Lake City. It's a big county. Um, so you just Google in health department X Y Z. So health department. What you want to get to the health department. So you you Google in the health department, right? And then bam, you just click on the health department, whatever it is, right? So in this case, it's website is slco.org so here you are here now every county is gonna be way different so you're gonna have to uh, I'm gonna show you how to do step by step on with Salt Lake City County but with your like we going Weaver County or some other county different state or whatever it's gonna be a little bit different but this is the, the basics how to do it and I'm gonna give you some resources how to find out in your own county um, as you go forward so you're in the health department uh, section uh, in the county records and uh, on, on this particular one, you want to look at the, you want to get the housing, the housing uh, um, uh, programs, right? So, so list the major programs. And it gives all the lists that Utah has, waste, you know, all that fun stuff. We have housing, so we're going to go in housing. Not in, you would think it'd be here, but it's not. So we're going to housing. And on under housing, you know, bed bugs, which is another good one to kind of take a peek at, uh, mold. So these are all really good information right here, right on. So this under housing gives you all of this information right here. So not only is this really good for meth, but it's really good to find out houses condemned by mold, uh, houses that have that been reported with bed bugs. Uh, so there's some really stuff. Well, they have like, they may not give you the reporting on the bed bugs part, but definitely the, the let's go over the meth. So meth contamination. So we're clean. So it goes over testing, you know, all the fun stuff. List of properties. So click under that, and bam, it gives you this list right here. So you'll see that it has, you know, uh, October. Um, we are in uh, November 2011, so you're seeing some even fresh ones here that was placed on here less than a week ago. So that'd be a good one to start with. Um, you know, so like a couple of them. And and the thing is, you're seeing you may see some some old ones. 2014. So this house, 7962 Main Street, is still condemned, whether someone's living there or not. But it's still under the city standards. Is still condemned, right? So that hasn't been cleared by the city. It's a pain. Once you get on this list, it actually is a big big pain in the butt to get off it. Um, so this this is still worth conversation. You know, that may be a vacant property, and it may be vacant for years. I, I've, I've had that. I've talked to people where their house have been, has been condemned for one reason or another, and the property has been vacant for years. So, to make it an easy, easable, easable, that's a word, to make it easy to work with, let's just highlight all the stuff here. And you can go over as far as, as far as look at you. So, zip code, copy. Now, you open an Excel sheet, and then just paste. And it gives you all that fun information, right? Now, if you want to be able to drill down, like if you want to go into certain cities, you just insert. This is basic, you know, uh, Excel stuff. Put it, make it a table. Now, if I wanted to just, you know, work on, let's just say, you know, any, all the the meth houses in Draper, for example, I can just bam, I got, I got just Draper. But I want to look at all of them. All of them. Bam. Okay. Cool. So now we have all this information we have, but if you notice, there's no names here, no names or phone numbers. 
So that, this is just to get you the, the address. Now, if you click on the, the video above my head, um, it, it's a video of how to find out uh, how to skip trace someone. If all you have is, is an address, how to find out the person's uh, phone number, the skip tracing, all the stuff you need to, need, need to know, right? So uh, that's, that's how you do that. Um, so just click on that video above if you want to find out, take from this step to the next step, uh, and then actually contacting them. Uh, let me know. Thanks, guys, for, for watching. I wanted to keep this somewhat short. Uh, let me know what other video you want to watch, like I said before at the beginning. Let me know uh, if you want to see more of this. Let me know if you want me to actually call one of these people and, and record it and so you all can see how I present myself and how I kind of go about uh, talking to the people in these dire situations. Maybe we get a deal under contract. That'd be awesome. But, yeah, thanks. Like and subscribe. Appreciate you all. And see